everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make three quick cards using the Daisy Daisy paper collection and an assortment of stamps and I'll tell you what they are when we get to them. So this is the Daisy Daisy stamp set. I'm going to use some of the large florals and then I'm also going to use the stamp set called Friendship Daisy. Okay. So these are the papers and I'm going to start out with this large floral from Daisy Daisy and I'm going to use pattern number two for Make It From Your Heart volume four. Okay. So I have some white Daisy cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and cut this down a little bit larger than the pattern calls for. And I want to make sure that I get my image stamped the way I want it and then I can trim it down from there. Okay, so I've loaded it into my Misty and I'm going to ink it up with black ink so that I can color it in with tri-blend markers. Okay. All right, we'll get that stamped out. And then the beauty of the Misty is if you miss a spot, you can always re-ink your stamp and stamp over in the exact same spot. Okay, so we'll get the Misty out of the way. Cleaning everything up with my stamp chamois. And then we'll start cutting some papers. Okay. So my base is going to be this pale floral. It has uh, a floral design, kind of a vine design in um, ballerina on white daisy. So I'm cutting that at the card base size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm cutting a strip of this patterned paper at one and a quarter by five and a half. And that's gonna go along the side. And then I'm going to cut a mat for that floral piece in evergreen. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring in some shimmer trim and I wanna place a thin sh strip of black shimmer trim in between those two uh, strips of patterned paper. So the easiest way to trim that in half is to add adhesive to the back and then lay it down on your trimmer and then trim it in half. And now I'm going to trim up that floral. So I'm just looking at the design and part of it is going to run off the edge. I'm just trimming around this panel. And then I want to make sure that it's going to fit within that mat that I created out of evergreen cardstock. Okay, I think that looks good. Now we can stamp our sentiment. So this says, I'm so glad we're friends. And then I'm going to mat that in evergreen as well. So I have it stamped out in black ink. And then we'll trim that down. It's not a specific size. I'm just going to trim around the image. And then I'll mat it in evergreen. So kind of a shortcut for matting something that you don't have a specific size for is go ahead and add adhesive and stick it to your backing and then put it in your trimmer and trim around the whole thing. Shortcuts, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to lay everything out to see how it looks. But first, I'm going to add some splatter to my floral background, okay? So I'm bringing in my splat box and a black shimmer brush and I'm shaking it up real good so the shimmer will be coming out and then I'm just tapping it around. Now this gives like some really fine droplets. If you wanted larger ones, you could squeeze your brush onto a block to get a pool of color, but I didn't want, I just wanted a, a real subtle look and really tiny fine droplets. So I did it that way. Okay, so instead of turning over that piece that I just splattered, I'm going to um, 
add adhesive to my card front and then put the panel down. That way the droplets won't smudge when I turn it over or if I were to turn it over. And then I'm going to add that evergreen floral pattern paper and then my, sh my strip of shimmer trim. And I'm going to go ahead and mount that floral piece to the uh, frame that I made and lay everything out. Okay, so off camera, I colored everything in with tri-blend markers. And then I'm going to add that panel with some foam tape. And kind of doing it above center to leave room for that sentiment. And then I'm going to add my sentiment with foam tape on one side and tape runner on the other side. So they lay on the same plane as the floral image. And then I'm going to add some of these green acrylic dots. So I'm going to use the dots. They come in hearts, stars, and dots in different shades of green. And there's my finished card, and here's some close-up shots. So another version that you could do to get closer to that ballerina pink is to use the pale pink tri-blend marker. But I want it to go for a nice bold pink look for that one. Okay, let's make another card. So I'm going to use this floral background and this uh, gingham. And the pattern that I'm going to use is pattern number 16 for Make It From Your Heart Volume 4. And I'm going to go ahead and start trimming things out. So my base is going to be this gingham plaid, and that's going to be cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to cut this floral piece at two and a quarter by five and a half. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this zip strip as an accent piece but I kind of thought it was too busy. So I'm just going to use a strip of shimmer trim, my go-to, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that one in half the same way. So I'm trimming it down to five and a half inches and then adding some adhesive and then placing it down in my trimmer so it doesn't move so that I can cut it in half. Okay, so now I have two strips that are a quarter inch each. I like that better. Okay. So now I'm going to cut a piece of white daisy and that will be my base for my sentiment and my images. And I thought I was going to stamp a bunch of images out on white daisy, but we'll see where we get. First, we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to use that same sentiment from the stamp set called Friendship Daisy. So, so glad we're friends. And I'm stepping that down in the bottom right hand corner. And then I decided to bring in colored cardstock and stamp my flowers on the colored cardstock. So I have flamingo and I'm using both the light and dark side. So I'm going to stamp these florals out and then that way they'll have color on them, but I won't have to color them in with tri blends. It's fun using the tri blends, but sometimes you want something quick and just has a, a striking look to it. So I like these line drawings with some color in the background. Okay, so stamping out some leaves. This is clover and I'm using the light and dark side and that um, the smaller, the tiny little daisy I uh, stamped on ballerina. Okay, off camera, I have cut everything out with the coordinating dies and now we're ready to go ahead and start assembling our card. So I have a a2 card base. This one's going to be landscape. So we'll add our base piece of gingham plaid from Daisy Daisy. And even though it's landscape, I like to adhere it uh, vertically, portrait style. It just it's easier for me to get it laid down right. And then we can set it up landscape and start adding. So this floral piece kind of goes in the middle, and I'm just eyeballing it, but the lines on the plaid kind of make it a little easier to make it straight. Trimming off the excess, and then we'll add our shimmer trim. 
So the shimmer trim is self-adhesive and it has a, a clear backing to it. So you just peel off that backing and then you can stick it down. Okay. So I have a mat of evergreen. I'm going to mat that white daisy piece and it's going to get popped with foam tape and then I'll just put it in the middle and then I'll cluster these florals kind of off to the side. I, I cut extra just because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to use. I didn't like that double leaf. So I'm just going to use the single leaves and a few of the flowers. So I'm going to add them with a combination of tape runner and foam tape and then to add a little bling, I'm going to use some gold gems in the center of the flowers. And then I'll scatter some more green acrylic dots around. So this time I'm going to use a darker color. This one's more of a clover. So I'll scatter three of those around, one of each size. And there is my finished card. So cute. So I will make a list of all these supplies in the description below with links. Okay, last card I'm going to use is Giant Daisy from Daisy Daisy. And then the pattern that I'm going to use is pattern number 14 from Make It From Your Heart, volume 4. And I'm just kind of deciding which uh, florals I want to use. So I'm going to use this smaller Daisy floral along with a strip of that uh, pink floral. And then instead of using the base of the card for that in-between bit, because it's there's a quarter inch, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a strip of shimmer trim in between. Okay. And this time I'm going to leave the shimmer trim at the half inch size. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the light side of Flamingo and I'm going to trim that out and that is what I'm going to stamp my giant daisy on. So I'm kind of offsetting it so that it goes over the edge because that panel gets mounted to the outside edge of the card. So I'm just stamping it down and letting the excess go over the edges. And then the stamp set has the uh, middles for the flowers also. Mount that on my block, season it a little bit by rubbing it on my wrist. And that removes the film from processing because I haven't used this particular stamp yet. And then I'm going to use my sentiment. Uh, I'm going to take it from the uh, stamp of the month. This one starts in March and it says, thank you bunches. And I'm just going to stamp that on the light side of Clover. And then I'm going to trim that out and uh, create a banner out of it. So the stamp of the month is available during the month of March and you can get it for $5 with any $50 purchase. Or if you're a VIP, you can get it for free with a $50 purchase. So I'm just trimming around this sentiment and then I'll dovetail each end. So not only does this month's Stamp of the Month have some really cute images, which you'll see in some more of my videos, um, but it's got some great sentiments too. So I'm getting a lot of use already. So I'm going to just doodle a little line around this banner using my black Le Pen. I'm just going to kind of trace around the edges there. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling the card. So I'll get a card base. And then we'll just put everything down with tape runner.
quick and simple. We'll add that shimmer trim. And then when I put that flower down, I just felt like it was sort of disappearing into the background. So I decided to go ahead and mount that on some evergreen cardstock. So it had a border of evergreen around the edges to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm just adding it with tape runner and butting one of the edges up to the side because that's what's going to go over the edge of the opening of the card and then just trimming around the edges. Go ahead and add that with some tape runner and then I'll pop the sentiment with some foam tape. Wasn't sure exactly where I wanted it and decided kind of in the center right above the daisy. And then of course I have to add some shimmer and bling. So I'm going to add a little bit of black shimmer brush in the center of the flower. And then I'm going to use some clear. And happy accident, kind of got a lot <laughs> that came out of my flower, but I'm just gonna kind of blend that out into the petals. And it worked just fine. So I'll have some close-up shots in a second. Always gotta add just a little shimmer. So like I said, I will make a list of these supplies with links in the description below. You can do some shopping. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to find all of my videos. I have quite a few in the library there. I'm almost at 400 videos, so you have a lot to choose from. So I'd appreciate a subscribe. And thanks for watching.